everyone, this is Hong, and today I will talk about a process that everyone has to go through as a language learner, translation. If you are new to the channel, don't forget to hit the subscribe button below. And if you want to get to know more tips and strategies from top-notch IELTS experts, you can check out the website weloveielts.org. Now let's get started. In the beginning, translate will be good. It's a bad translation, so that my speaking depends on Vietnamese. Translate word by word is not good. So stop the translating the English. So what do I mean by translation? It happens when learners think of their mother tongue first and try to find the equivalent in English. To put it simply, when you look at this animal, you may think of your mother tongue first. It can be chó in Vietnamese or it can be perro in Spanish. And then try to find the equivalent in English, which is dog. Now, this process can be painfully slow, especially when you try to translate every single word in a sentence. Maybe that's the reason why many language learners think that they should avoid translation completely in order to achieve fluency in the language. Now, let's take a look from an IELTS perspective. Test takers are asked to discuss a variety of complex topics such as the environment, the economy, art, or culture when learners have to access their prior knowledge which they have learned in their mother tongue. As a result, people still unavoidably translate, no matter how hard they try. Now, I do agree that it's ideal to be able to think and form ideas completely in English, but speaking from experience, it takes time. And in fact, one way to achieve fluency in a language is to learn to translate properly. So here are the four simple steps which I have also applied for myself that you can follow to use translation to your advantage in the IELTS test. Step number one, pick a writing or speaking sample and then translate it into your mother tongue. Try to use authentic material written by a native speaker of about 250 words. It can be an article or blog post, a writing or speaking sample from an official IELTS resource an abstract from a book or a transcript of a speech. Step 2. Wait a while and then translate back into English. Step number 3. Compare your version with the original English versions and learn how a native speaker would express their ideas. Step number 4. Learn new expressions and phrases. By doing the comparison, you can learn new vocabulary, expressions and phrases. On top of that, you can be aware of the stylistic differences between two languages. Now you will understand why word-by-word -word translation is sometimes unnatural and very hard to understand. Translation is not a bad practice. In fact, it helps to train your brain to think back and forth in two languages. You can build up your second language upon the foundation of the first one. So don't hesitate to give it a try and tell me how it works out for you by commenting below this video. I can't wait to hear from other fellow language learners. Thank you very much for watching and I will see you real soon. Bye-bye!